All right, dude, you ready to go do this? Yeah. All righty. This is going to be fun, dude. This is only a boy trip and a guy trip. Yeah, dude, guy trip. All righty, dude. So we are on the way to Harbor Freight, and we're going to pick up the base trailer part for our firewood trailer, right? It's going to be pretty sweet. So we're going to pick it up. It's what, $3.99? Yeah. So we're going to build that first. We're going to pick it up, build it. Then we're going to come up with a plan to make the outside cage part of it. So let's get to Harbor Freight. Let's get her in the truck and get it home and get it built. Right, dude? Yeah. That's how it comes right there, dude. Just two boxes. Can you believe it? All right, let's get this stuff in the garage. All right, so that little trailer, this is what you get from Harbor Freight. These are the only two boxes it comes in. And then it says, documents enclosed, do not throw away. And there's no documents in there, so hopefully it's inside. All right, there they are, so that's good. Let's get everything out situated and start building it. All right, so this is what we're working with. We got four of those. This looks to be the tongue. This is the main frame. We got two outer ones, two middle cross members. The hardware is labeled pretty good. Got hex bolts, spring and axle, and then this one is the safety chain. Wheel wells, leaf springs, hitch, coupler, and wheels. The directions on it are pretty clear, which is good. We got the cross members, and then the side rails. And this is basically how it's going to go together. It looks like all of these go together with the hex bolts. Basically, this is going to fit inside the side rails, dude, and it's just gonna bolt together like that. And then there's another one that comes up from the bottom on each side, dude. All right, so I'll give you a good look at that. Just bolted these through, and then there's another one that comes up through the bottom on the inside. Do that on all the connections, and then you just add these. I haven't tightened anything up yet. I'm just gonna get everything mocked up and then I'll tighten everything at the end. Next up, it says to attach the tow bar. And right now we are building it upside down. So there's two holes in there two holes here and those are going to get lined up with there and there then we're using the same hex bolts to attach this but you put them up through the bottom all right as i said at this point i just got everything hand tightened together just to dry fit it to make sure everything was good now i'm going to go through and just tighten everything i'm using a 11 16 wrench and an 11 16 socket all right, so I got everything tightened up. Now it says to add the springs. So you can see there's not a hole back here. This hole right here faces forward on the trailer. And then out of your spring and axle hardware bag, you're gonna use two of these larger bolts to go through. And this just goes through like that. And it says to leave this loose for now. So we'll tighten that in a minute. Also, the direction set on a step before this to add the fenders. I'm going to wait to do the fenders until after this. Yeah, dude. What? What? We need to poke little holes in cardboard. For what? Tell them what. There was a step before this to add the fenders. I'm going to do that at the end, just because if I added the fenders, it would make it up like this, and it's just easier to add at the end for me. Okay, now you got to take the axle, and there's a little indent here. 
that's going to go over this protruding part on the springs on each side and it sits there. And then you just take your plate that goes on top of the spring like that. Bracket goes through like that to hold it. And then another one on this side to go through there. Alright, so I went through and put these on. I tightened these first on each side. Make sure it's even and then after those are tight, you can go through and tighten these ones and that one. Alright, I just took the protective plastic off. Now I'm just wiping it off with a solvent just to clean it. I'm just using lacquer thinner just because it dries super quick. Wipe it off good. Can I smell the lacquer thinner? You could probably smell it from over there, dude. No, I can't. I gotta Now you're just going to want to undo these bolts on the tire. That'll give you your hub assembly. You want to take this off. I'm just getting a flathead screwdriver. You just kind of want to twist your screwdriver a little bit. There you go. Now with that all in there, you just slide this over. Washer. Now you don't want to really tighten this too much. You just kind of snug it up and then you got to put a cotter pin through there. Through the hole in the groove of the nut. Pound that through. And then just bend this out. Pop the cap back on. There you go. And then you can take your, take your grease fitting on the inside here. And just fill it with grease. Okay, now I just gotta install the hitch coupler and the safety chains that go with it. Pretty aggressive safety chains for that. All I'm gonna do is put that on here. Make sure when you're putting it through, find the center of your safety chains and put that bolt through there, just like that, so they're so they're even. Alright guys, now all I gotta do is attach the fenders, which is just two bolts. But I'm gonna come up with a plan for what I wanna do for the platform here as well as the sides first so I'll attach them later. Another thing is it comes with electrical lights if you're going to use this on the road. I'm not going to use it on the road. I'm going to use it for my four-wheeler so I'm not going to bother installing them. Now I got a nice clean slate to work with. This is going to make a nice four-wheeler trailer for firewood so stay tuned for our next video because that's where we're going to be where we're going to build this out into our firewood trailer. So catch you in the next video. Come check out the trailer. Yeah, well, we got to build the base and everything now. Huh? We got to build the platform and everything now. Oh, yeah. Come check it out. Huh? Come check it out. Really? It's going to work really good for firewood, dude. Oh, yeah, this is big. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be big, Dad. It's not too big, but that's why I want it. The one we're using right now is way too big, right? Build a nice little custom platform. You like it?